Welcome to your house and home. I'm Teresa Garrett. And I'm Jeff Schmidt. This is the Hands-On Show, where you make your house your home. Here's what's coming up on this week's show. We'll show you a European technique that can give almost any wall the look of natural stone. And we'll show you how to take a pool that looks like this and turn it into a beautiful backyard oasis. And Joe Sharinsky has some planting projects that the kids are going to love. Then Steve Greenberg visits a cat-friendly condo you'll have to see to believe. It's time to give this home exterior and interior a brand new look. The owners want the classic look of stone, but they don't want to pay the high cost that normally comes with real stone. Is there a way to get the best of both worlds? Thanks to a new innovation called Deco Pierre, there is. It takes the craftsmanship of old world Europe and mixes it with modern techniques to create beautiful surfaces. Deco Pierre is a unique projected decorative coating system that can give any surface, interior or exterior, a natural stone appearance. According to Philippe Mergot, the president of Deco Pierre, this process is new to the United States, but it's been used for years in Europe. Giving Deco Pierre its distinctive look is crushed limestone. Limestone has been the building material of choice for 5,000 years since the pyramids were built. It's a very, very, very durable material. It's, it's proven over, the, over like I said, 5,000 years that uh, you can count on this material to last. A little prep work is required for the application. At this home, Deco Pierre is going to be installed on this wood dormer above the entryway and also on the brick face around the arch. Since it sits at a height of around 16 feet, Casey Arnold and the crew have set up scaffolding to help them reach it. While Deco Pierre can be applied directly to brick, wood is a different story. To adhere to the wood, the crew must first install diamond mesh lath. The product is then mixed with water, just like concrete. Once the product has been mixed to the right consistency, it's time to apply it. The crew loads the product into a three-nozzle acoustic sprayer that's powered by a compressor. With the squeeze of a trigger, the product is coated onto the areas that are being treated. The crew coats the dormer thoroughly, and then they move on to the brick face. Today, we are able to uh, spray the product directly on, on your wall, whether it's drywall, whether it's brick, whether it's, uh, it's wood. Deco Pierre is going to be applied to enhance this brick fireplace. The crew preps the area the same way they would if they were painting. Plastic is laid to cover the surrounding area to protect from any unexpected splashes. Now that the product has set for about an hour, it's time for some artistic sculpting. Casey, what is the process to sculpt the Deco Pierre? Well, basically, once we've applied the product, uh, it's going to go on with, with kind of what we call a burst stone look. It'll be a real rough stone. Some of the customers will like that stone, but some of them will like a smoother stone. Let me show you how we do that. Okay. Um, basically, we're just going to hand rub the product. We're just going to smooth it out. You, you really can't, you don't have to be too ginger about it. You just kind of smooth out the rough spots. Okay. And then what I'm going to have you do is just take that brush and then just knock the aggregate off it. Oh. Okay. There you go, just like that. Oh. And that's going to give us more of a finish to an Austin chalk, which is the look we're trying to achieve on this particular item. Next, the installer shapes the stones using a level and a tape measure to keep the line straight. To enhance the surface even further, the installer adds color. He does this when the surface is still wet so that it will absorb right into the limestone. The crew repeats the hand etching process outside. One of the great things about Deco Pierre is that it doesn't take a large crew to apply. A two to three man crew can get the job done. It takes just a few hours of creative work and painstaking attention to detail to get the right look both inside and out. In this home, the Deco Pierre applied to the exterior and the interior is made to resemble Austin chalk. Homeowners have a lot of choices when it comes to different styles, designs, and colors. The surface of the brick fireplace in another home resembles river rock, while in this one, the fireplace and the planter look like multicolored Austin chalk. All that's left for this crew to do is a little cleanup, and then this project is complete, and on the same day that it was started. The exterior and interior of this home now has a handcrafted look. And best of all, Deco Pierre is only half the cost of real stone, plus it costs less than faux stone. If you would like more information on how you can get the look of natural stone at only a fraction of the cost, 
please visit us online at yourhouseandhome.tv. turn ordinary surfaces around your home and yard into something special. Yes, it looks like stone, and it actually is. Deco Pierre created a system that uses powdered limestone. I was amazed when I did my first project and it went from a flat piece of board to the stone, which was just one layer of, of stone across and I carved it and it just came to life. On this day, Tom Stokes, the Atlanta retailer for Deco Pierre, is transforming this concrete wall. This house has a terrace level. It has a uh, concrete wall that's plain. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it look like an old Tuscany style uh, wall with uh, arches. Step one involves mixing the powdered limestone and then spraying it. What we do is we come out and make the mix, then we start spraying it with our hopper spray. We spray it about three quarters to an inch thick, so it gives us a good base and also it gives us a good carving base. Step two is the application of a color or pigment. The company has five basic colors to choose from, all with the look of natural stones. We try to mix the pigment according to the colors that the client wants. You don't want it completely consistent because you want it to have variation, like regular stone does. Every stone is different. If you look at natural stone, none of them are the same. So you want to have some inconsistency about the, the, the darkness or the lightness of the color. Step three involves carving lines to create the look of grout between the stones. It needs to set about three hours or so before we can carve it. I want the texture to be soft enough so I can just kind of scrape it off with my special carving tools. I don't want it too hard where I, I would need like a hammer to get it off. And I don't want it too wet because if it's too wet then you'll get bad lines on it. So it needs to be a, a just, just enough so it kind of falls apart. And then also, once it's completely dry, it's, it's not brittle at all, it, it becomes stone once again. What I do is I usually have a picture of what the client wanted from the picture book, and we're going to try to replicate that, that look on that wall that they wanted. So it's just a matter of following that, that picture book. You use a carving tool that gives you the grout line, and then once you've got the grout line, you start going back over it with a brush to smooth it out so it looks like a normal, regular grout line that you've actually put uh, mortar in and put a stone in place on it. As you can see, this is not for do-it-yourselfers. It takes a lot of skill and training to do the carving. You have to go through the school that we provide in Texas, and you get certified as an artisan after your training, and also you have to do some field work with it. What makes this product so desirable is the fact that it isn't fake stone. It's real limestone, so it's eco-friendly. There are no chemicals or sealants involved. This is real stone. It's real limestone. It's hydraulic limestone. So as soon as you apply water to it, it starts hardening again to become stone again. It's vapor permeable. Water won't go through it, but the moisture will come out of it. So it's eco-friendly. It won't allow mold to accumulate behind it. It's not unnatural at all. It's not man-made. It's all natural stone. Once the project is done, you have a beautiful stone wall. Well, it's less expensive, and you can get a great look on it. You get the old world look. A lot of things you can do, like arches, that are very difficult to do if you just wanted to build an arch with real stone and very expensive. So you can get a lot of different unique looks if you want that older look. You can do a lot more with this product than just walls. You can create all types of things like patios and wine cellars. In fact, Tom recently did an entire house. We do this and uh, I've done this on uh, walls, exterior walls, interior walls. I've done it in fireplaces. I've also done a complete house. Um, it's the ICF home uh, made by Polyseal. We did the complete home last year. That home won their uh, division for a National Home of the Year award. I like it at the end of the day when I'm finished carving and the client comes and looks at it and they love it and we're all very satisfied. That gives me a special feeling. Welcome to your house and home. I'm Jeff Schmidt. Do you want to get your hands on some projects around the house and do it yourself? I'm Grant Goodeve and I'll be showing you the very latest on the next gen home experience. And I'm Teresa Garrett. Maybe you're planning home improvement that's a bigger challenge and you need some professional help. Well, we have got some great ideas, some effective techniques, and the right people for the job at your house and home.